working on day six of the 29 faces challenge by Ayala Art. There's a link to her channel, the 29 faces Facebook group, and the 29 faces February 2017 blog in the description box below. I have been using 12 by 12 watercolor paper from Master's Touch. I really like this watercolor paper for my art journaling. Day six. Wow, they're really taking shape. This is going to be a really nice addition to my 2017 composite art journal. So I'm going to work on the back of day five. I'm going to keep working with my ink tints and the Kurtaki watercolors. I do a sketch with my R2 rollerball pen, R2 ink rollerball pen, and I usually sign it and add some finishing touches with this Faber-Castell marker. The picture that I'm going to use today, again, is from Pixabay. I really like being able to use these pictures and I like this one because there is so much dark around this entire picture. Now, I don't know if mine will be that dark, but I do intend to stick with the dark tones around his face. And I think I'm going to do the entire face just as is. He's got a very striking white beard. You get a light source is hitting his face from this direction. His nose is defined by a light line coming down this way. Very interesting study of the nose. Another very characteristic face. His eyes are open, but you can see you can see his eyelid fairly well here. And just very, very and just a very, very touch of the eyeball in there. Here again, this face will probably be predominantly blacks and whites, but I do like the fleshy tones in here. So I'm going to get started, and when I'm finished, I'll come back and talk about it. basic sketch in. I'm not unhappy with it. The picture that I'm looking off of is rectangular and this paper is square. So there is going to be a lot of dark area in here, a lot of dark area down in here. So that's what I'm going to work on next. I got the basic portion of his face. I'm not really happy with the nose. I think it's a little bit more round, but we'll work on that as I go.
finished with day six. I'm pretty happy with it. There are a few things on here that I would change, but that's for the next page. I really like the watercolor modeling in here. It, uh, it gives a hint of an aged face without having to define every little wrinkle. The blue shadow in here shapes his beard. Now I've got some little blue marks in here that, that give it a fullness. This entire picture is framed in a black background and that really makes his face pop. I think his head could have been tilted just a teeny bit more, but again, that's for the next page. I am just really happy with this. I think it'll make a really nice addition to my 2017 composite art journal. I will see you on the next page.